Hey everyone, my name's Coach Artie. I am a volleyball coach that's gonna make you the strongest volleyballer inside and out. Today we're gonna be going over five activities you can do to practice at home when you don't have a wall. Let's get started. Number one is simply digging to yourself. It's really simple and it's a skill that you're probably gonna use a lot. Your goal should be to be able to pass consistently without taking a lot of steps. Let's level it up. I want you to take a lot of steps. Walk forward, walk backwards, walk to the left, walk to the right. Let's level it up one more time. Practice wrong technique. I want you to explore how it feels to dig on the upsides of your arms, just so you know how it feels and if that actually may happen, ugh, you know how to control it. Number two, peppering with your hands. In this one, your goal is to control the ball with your right hand and your left hand without moving or taking a step. It's all right to be able to bend your knees and help out, but your goal is not to move. Let's level it up. Just like before, now I want you to move on purpose. We're not doing it because we're losing control. We're doing it because we have so much control. We can move. Remember, go forward, go backwards, go to the left and go to the right. By moving forward and backwards and left and right, you need to start contacting the ball at different places. You're not just contacting it underneath now. You need to start contacting it on the sides if you're going this way or this side if you're going that way. That's why I want you to start moving around to get an idea of how to move that ball and where it should go. All right, let's level that up. Instead of fists like this, I want fists like this, hitting on your knuckle area to get an idea of how the ball reacts to your body in different scenarios. Same thing, move forward, back, left, right. After that, my favorite, turn fists into slaps. When you understand how to use your hands like a little slap, bah, it's really, really fun. It's my favorite set if the ball's down here and you can just sort of slap it up. Oh, I literally slaps. <laughs> Number three. So we've used our dig, we've used our hands, now we're gonna use our forearms by themselves. The thing I want you to think about is, are your arms straight or are they bent? When we pass, or even with one arm, we're probably gonna have a straight arm, so consider practicing that. Number four is setting to yourself. Same as before, forward, back, left, right. But remember, that movement is intentional. We're not moving because we have to, we're moving because we're deciding to. That's gonna give you an idea of how to frame your hands going forward, and when you're walking backwards, how to frame your hands when you're doing a back set. Let's level it up and push it higher. The higher sets go, the more control you need. So, if you're inside, you have a limit. If you're outside, go as high as you can. The less spin on your set, the better. Number five, two hands together, contacting above your head. <laughs> this is hard. Why do you do this one? Well, because it's fun. That's about it. <laughs> Here are other variations if you get bored of those ones. Spikes above your head. One hand sets. Oh. Spin the ball on your finger. I heard if you can do this, you're pretty good at basketball, apparently. Last one, use all manner of body parts just to have an idea of how it moves off your body. Ugh. Those were five ways to practice at home if you don't have a wall. Remember, this isn't gonna make you a superstar, but it is gonna make you better at volleyball. One tiny little step at a time. You get better when you practice, so go practice volleyball.